How's it going, everybody? I'm IGP, and welcome back to Let's Play Subnautica Creative Mode. We're back here at the IG Paradise, gonna add a few more bases and some fun stuff to the island, but first I want to make a quick statement. I was just gonna let you guys know that I'm going to be cutting off all requests to have bases on this island for now. I've gotten so many, I don't think I'm going to be able to fit all of them on this island, or get through them, or even be able to play the game after all of it's built. So for now, I'm gonna run through all of the comments that I have on the Let's Build Together video. I'm gonna run through all of those as much as I can, and soon in the future, when the game is even more optimized and we're able to build larger structures, I will do maybe an IG Paradise version 2, but that might be some time for now. Anyway, let's go ahead and get started here. The first one up is Chandler Wilson. And he says he wants a three-story tall house with one observation room in the middle room. And in the rooms, a fish tank in one of them. And whatever I want in the rest and call it the pug room. Sounds good. Let's go ahead and build it. Now I got to find a nice spot here and there hasn't been much built on the left side of the island. And what I mean by left, I mean is as you're coming in from the entrance, if you take a left, there ain't much over here. So we're going to go ahead and add over here somewhere. All right, so right here looks good. We're going to go ahead and build your three-story house here. Let's grab a room and start at the base. <laughs> Get it, base. All right, so where's actually the entrance? It's right here. This is what I would want. All right, so we got the first room here. We're going to have the second room be the entrance here. With the hatch coming out like so. You can come down. Now, we should terraform that out real quick. And, oh, look at this. The terraformer's been updated to what it actually looks like in the picture. That's pretty neat. It's about damn time. We're going to go ahead and add the observatory room, I guess, above it right here. We haven't done that just yet, so we'll do that. Oh, that was perfect. Very clean. So we're going to have it right above your house, so you just kind of duck a little bit to get underneath, and here we are. And of course, it's called the Pug Room, so let's go ahead and add the little sign here. Blah, 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 blah. Pug Room. Oh, you wanted a dash with it. And bam, look at that, the Pug Room. We'll add a few windows out here. I think that's a good idea, to add a few windows looking out to sea, and the aquariums as well. Which we will put, I guess I'll put it right here. Always good to put it in the middle, it always looks the best. And we're going to go ahead and give you, uh, some peepers, because everyone loves peepers. So let's add eight of these here. And voila. There's your beautiful thing, and on this level, we're going to add a few benches, since you said I can do whatever I want. And downstairs will be your workroom. We have a workbench here. We'll have a fabricator on this wall. And your two analyzers over here. I think they actually messed up the models on these. One is supposed to be orange, the fragment, which is this one, but it's green, like the other one. Hmm, quite strange. But that is the Pug Room. I hope you enjoy your home. Moving on to the next one here. The next one is from DJ Ninetail Fox. Says they want theirs to be called Ninetail's Nightclub, a two-story building with an aquarium and two benches on each floor. Can do. Now it's nighttime, so scavenging, or rather traversing this place to find a good spot's gonna prove a little difficult. Wanna keep you a little bit on, on the path here. Ah, I can't get up. There, oh, almost had it. There we are, we got it. I think I wanna put yours on a little ledge over here. So let's add it right here. So, two stories, let's put it here. We're gonna have your entrance right here. Right there. It's a little perfect area. We're gonna get in, we're gonna add your label. And now uh, you wanted this called Nine Tails with a Z Night Club. Oops, not Clubu, Club. There we are. Big letters. Bam. That's bouncing. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and connect them as well. As usual, you want to be able to go in between your floors here, and we're gonna go up, put two benches down for you. All right, so we had your two benches up there. Let's go ahead and add them down here as well. Let's put one. Whoop, uh, I think we have a little bit of a terraforming issue here. We'll put one right here, and then one across the room, if we still can. Yes, we can. Excellent. Alright, you want an aquarium? Let's go ahead and place it down here real quick. And we're gonna give you some boomerangs, I think. Alright, so that's, uh, the Ninetales Nightclub. Hope you guys are enjoying this bouncing place. You got live music. Here's a turntable for the DJ to sit and play music. 
Dance floor is right here. You can pretend this is a pole. Have someone do a little stage performance. It'd be amazing. So the next one is from Drew, or Drew Boy. He says he would like a house with three floors. The first floor is all aquariums. The second floor is all windows with a bench in front of each window. And then the third floor, he wants four observatories and benches in them. And his will be called Rusty Batman. <laughs> Let's do this. All right, so we're going to go ahead and build yours probably down here towards this path. We got a few drop-offs. This is pretty cool how it comes down to this. I think this is a very good spot right here. Let's do it. So again, three floors. Everyone wants three floors, it seems. So now we'll have this at this angle because, again, it's very hard to actually place a room high enough to be level with you. It really is. You don't understand. Very difficult. We'll put another one right here. And then we'll have your entrance literally on the top. I think that would be best. Like so. So you come down here, and here's your entrance to your home. As a matter of fact, I'll make it look a little bit neater. I'll terraform up here real quick. Actually, get rid of that. Yeah, just like that. Just like that. That looks good. That looks great. Right? That looks really good. It's like it's guiding you to the front entrance. So we're going to call this the Rusty Bat Man. Or Bat Cave would be funny too. Rusty Batman on both sides. Whoop, whoop. All right, so we're here at the first floor, and you said you wanted all aquariums, so we'll put down a few for you, and give you. I'll put down three, and I'll give you three different types of. Uh, okay, didn't mean to do that. Uh oh. Uh, three different types of fish here. Item, boom, merang, two. Item, peeper, two, and then we're gonna give you item. I I. We have one I I for one. So on the left side, we're going to put two of the peepers. On the right side, we're going to put two boomerangs. In the middle, you got your nice little eye eye. Everybody loves them. Woohoo! Nice little aquarium. All right, and the second floor, you said you want all windows, benches at all of them. Now, I can say that I don't think all around windows would be the best idea. So I'm going to put over three over here just because you're not going to be able to see much. And we're going to be using up resources too. So let's just do this like this. And we'll put the benches down. Here, so you can actually sit and look out if you want to. So we can go over here, turn around, and sit and look. Right at the Aurora's asshole. How fantastic. All right, so we're at the top floor, and you said you want four observatories. Um, probably not going to happen because we have the hatch on one of them. So instead, I'll give you three on each side here. So let's go ahead and add these real quick. I think these are the ones. Yeah, we can do one right here. There's number two. And I'm not sure how to go about adding number three here. There's your observatories. Can't get rid of this floating rock. Going to have to deal with it. All right, so here we are at the Rusty Batman. We'll take a look here in the observatories. And while we're here, we're going to go ahead and add those benches that you wanted so badly. Put them right in the middle so you can sit and do whatever you want. Look out at your base. Look out towards the Aurora again. you got a pretty good view of the Aurora at pretty much every angle. So you're definitely lucky in that sense. And, uh, yeah. So that's your base. I hope you enjoy it. Thank you so much for your request. And let's move on. Now, I'm going to go ahead and do this since I'm here, and I'm probably going to be doing these on and off throughout the episodes. I'm going to be building some different things to make the IG Paradise more of more than just a village. It's going to have parts to it. The first one is going to be the docking station. Since we are here, we are going to make the Cyclops docking station, and we're going to make this look beautiful as hell. So now I know the Cyclops is bigger than normal and bigger than this hole, so we're going to have to terraform some of this out, but it's going to be pretty cool to come from under the island and dock here. And we'll go ahead and label it with a beacon. Let's give ourselves one real quick. So we'll place the beacon over here, just on this little corner right here, because it's above land and it just kind of drops. That works for me, right? All right, let's, we'll call this docking. Bam, now we have the docking blip that's going to tell us where we need to go for docking. Now what I want to do is go ahead and spawn a cyclops right down here. And now while it's doing that, we can kind of assess what we're going to need lengthwise, which it's going to be have to be much bigger than this and I'm actually going to have to get rid of one of those jellyfish. So we're going to have to go back to about about the other one. So it's almost going to be a perfect fit. Kind of sucks getting rid of these little uh, stalactites here. It really does suck, but we gotta do it, man. We gotta make sure we can get our Cyclops on the island. Okay, so I've terraformed out most of this. You can kind of see the jellyfish just hanging out a little bit. But I'm thinking we're gonna go ahead and test to see if this is gonna be able to go up and fit perfectly. Now, I know we're literally right on the edge over here. Well, hello. 
And we're gonna name you eventually, but let's just rise up to the top here and see if we can fit. Okay, it hit something. It hit something bad. Luckily, we're in creative mode because we're not gonna get damaged, but I think we're literally cutting it, like, right here. Well, it just lagged for a second. I think we're cutting it really close. So I deleted some of this, thinking that maybe it's touching what it believes to be terrain, because sometimes the terrain has an issue like that. It seems like there's this invisible wall um, kind of stopping anything from going into it, so... I actually think we are good. Now, I want to turn around because I want to face the other way. I don't want to come in this way. I want to face the other way, leading up to uh, the entrance to the island here. So let's drop down a little bit. All right, so we drop down here. We can see a little bit of the base over there. That's Weasel's base. That's Weasel's dick base over there. And we're just going to spin in a circle and see if this will work as I imagine it to. All right, so we've kind of made it here. This is what we're looking at. We drop down here, it's still tilted. What is it possibly hitting? I think there is... We're gonna have to terraform out the back here. Yeah. Just a little bit. We're gonna have to terraform a little bit out here, unfortunately. I didn't want to get rid of any more stalactites, but I'm gonna have to. Okay, I think we've made enough room. So essentially, this is what we're looking at. Oh, there's an actual entrance over here. I didn't even notice this was here. So where is this gonna go up to? Very nice. So this is the area in which we can go down. It almost looks like it was terraformed out itself, but there's too much wildlife to say that that's true. Okay, so we got this here. It's a pretty cool, secure place. Now, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create some kind of block to let me know that I should stop right here. Maybe I should put the docking thing right there. Oh, that's perfect. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna go ahead and put the docking blip that disappeared somehow. Somehow here. There you are. Come here. We're gonna go ahead and place you down. Right. Right about here to stop. Awesome. So you could pull up that far and stop. And it will and it will uh, line you up just about perfectly. Excellent. So we have our Cyclops docking station here. I'm gonna go ahead and fill this in a little bit. Actually, I think there's another connecting thing here. I think this is what this is. Yep. And now we can go up to the top here from the original entrance. So there's two exits that come out to different sides to the Aurora. And actually, <laughs> Drew, your house is right here uh, when we come out of the docking station. So we come straight down here. And basically, we can look down to the left and see that the Cyclops is parked beautifully in our nice little terraformed opening here in the floater island. So it's pretty cool. Might add a few little decorations around here to make it look beautiful later on. But we're going to do a few more houses in this episode. So let's move on to the next one. This is so fucking awesome. So I'm going to do the next one here. It's for Assassin2635. He says he wants a home called the Assassin and IGP Sky Party House. And he wants six floors. And the sixth floor is going to be connected to mine. Unfortunately, I'm not going to do that. I didn't want anybody that close to mine. Uh, just because I'm supposed to be the watch guard. Uh, and plus, I think it would look a little bit weird and probably hard to fit in that small area where mine is. And so you wanted reinforcements and lockers for the first two floors, and then the third and fourth floors are going to have windows with reinforcements, and then aquarium with just peepers, and benches at the window, then one at the aquarium, and the fifth floor is going to have things I want, then the sixth floor is going to be the party room. I'm going to have to make it look like a party room, and that's it. So let's get started on this massive project. I think this might be the last one of the episode here. I actually did notice that you're pretty close to my house. My house is right here, and then yours is going to start over here, assassin, and we're going to have your doorway Enter in upon this pathway, which is actually kind of nice, and this is the first floor, so we're going to have to make six of these bad boys. Now, this is the hard part. I'm going to have to figure out how to make it so that way I can connect these um, six. I'm going to have to terraform a path for me, or like a little tower. Oops, did the wrong thing here. Oh, I just fucked up. There we go. Okay, this kind of works. We just got to glitch it real quick. And I move, and then I can do it. There we go. Now I can add another room, and this is the process to get all the way to the top here. Alright, we managed to add your six floors, and this actually looks pretty awesome. So we're going to go ahead and uh, de-terraform this up here, because it's going to look bad. 
Come on, Mr. Tree, apparently. You look like a tree growing into this guy's house. Let's not do that, okay? Anyway, so it's the six fours here. Now, again, we're gonna go through your comment here and try to decipher what I need to do. So it's gonna be called the Assassin and IGP Sky Party House. So I'm gonna probably have to put two labels for this one. Here's one. So, Assassin and IGPs. And we're gonna increase the text on that. Take away that. And then we're gonna have to add another label down here and call it Sky Party House. We're gonna leave it in that. That looks good, actually. <laughs> Look at that awesome logo. That is pretty cool, actually. I like that. Assassin and IGP Sky Party House. Look at that. All right, so we got the name on, and let's go ahead and start here on the floors. So, you said you want the six floors connected to my house. We can't do that, because I'm not near you. Uh, lockers for the first two floors, and reinforcements. We don't need reinforcements, let's just add some lockers here. There's one, literally all around. So much space. So much space we're gonna give you. Again, guys, like I said in the beginning, I'm not gonna take any more requests for the IG Paradise. For this one, at least. I might do another version of it later, or addition to it in a different location, uh, on a different, uh, save game. Because I don't want to end up clogging up the, you know, with the thousands of different bases. But again, guys, don't worry if I don't have anything in here for you. Again, you are going to be able to play on this yourself. Once it's finally built and I patch up everything and I make it look really pretty, I'm gonna go ahead and zip that up and give you guys a download link to go ahead and play it yourself. That's going to be the most fun part, I feel like. So if you don't see anything built in here, again, you're going to have access to it and you can build it yourself. You can preview it on your channel if you have a YouTube channel. Whatever you want to do, this is going to be the IG Paradise version 1. Version 2 and 3 might come out later. Who knows? Alright, so the uh, first two floors, we'll put, or uh, the next floor, we'll put uh, regular lockers, I guess. Standing lockers around everywhere. Alright, so this is the second floor here. Let's add another ladder up. And move over to the third floor. Now, the third floor, you wanted uh, windows and reinforcements and aquarium with just peepers. That's going to be the third and fourth floor. With benches at the window, then one aquarium. So, we're going to have one aquarium in each of these floors. And then a window in all the others. So, we'll put it back here, I think. And then the window... I think... It's back. Yeah, so that's perfect. Back here is the windows. We'll put three of them. And we'll put benches right here, uh, at the front, so we can look. And then also you said you wanted a bench at the aquarium, so I guess you can sit and appreciate the aquarium for what it is. And we'll do this exact same thing on the next one for you. So the fifth floor, since we're gonna have the party room up above us, I'm gonna make this the bar area. So let's go ahead and try to construct this here. So we're gonna have benches all around as if it's the seating area, which is gonna actually be the bar, kinda. So we're gonna have this connected in a way like this, like we did in the other house. Except for, again, this is gonna be acting as the bar here. If I can get this perfectly. Yes. Okay, so this is the bar, and we're gonna go ahead and add windows so we have a nice view. And then we're gonna have a bunch of shells up here with your standard liquor stuff. Okay, so there's all your liquor, which we can name. Let's do whiskey, rum, tequila, and bath salt. Hell yeah. That's my kind of bar. Here's your little uh, mixing area, if we can fit this back here. Your mixing area, or the edge of the table here. Mixing area. And then we'll put a few analyzers facing the other way if we can, as your little mixing tables. Whatever you want to call them. So, like, right here. If I don't get stuck, that'd be great. Alright. And then add the fragment analyzer over here. Alright, so there's the little bar. And actually, I'm going to go ahead and label this, too. And we're going to call this... The IG... Pub. Bam. The IG Pub. <laughs> Alright, so let's go to the final floor, and we're gonna make this little dance area, the party house. Whatever you wanna call it. Make it look like a party room. But we should definitely have little dispensers for, you know, uh, condoms and everything of the sort here. We're gonna have the sign. This is gonna be the party room. Party room. Again, we're gonna have arrows on all sides. 
Make it look all flamboyant and amazing. Like so. Party room. So we're gonna do windows all around as if this is a rooftop like thing. Bam. So now we can see literally all around the island here. I think we can actually see the docking station, can you? A little bit, a little bit. You can see other people's houses over here. And we're gonna have some seatage elsewhere, so in case people don't want to get up and dance their asses off. And then we're gonna label the fuck out of this place. Bam. And bam. And bam, I think this looks good for Party House. Again, we want open space for everyone to dance and sit if they want to. You can sit in either direction you want. Over here if you want to look at the mountaintop. Or if you want to, uh, get up, turn around, and then sit down and watch the party. It's all you, baby. It's whatever you want to do. Alright, so that is Assassin and IGP Sky Party House. That was actually kind of fun to build. Thank you for your request here. This was awesome. I think, uh, the IG Paradise is coming along swimmingly. It is starting to lag just a little bit. Just a little bit. Uh, but since we're keeping the bases separate, when I look away, it's smoother. Uh, because again, it's, it's, uh, occluding each base entity. I've confirmed that, and it's 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 working out pretty nicely. So, uh, some of you guys may have a better time loading this, so you guys will probably enjoy it more once it's done, and I'll be able to send you out uh, the copy of the of the uh, save game. So, I'm gonna go ahead and cut it here. Thank you so much for all your requests. We're we're, uh, we're moving along, like I said, and this is a lot of fun. I really think this is one of the best ideas I've ever had to interact with you guys in a video game. So. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, you know what to do. Like, share, favorite, and subscribe if you haven't already. I love you all, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye!